Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is Cold Steel. We are in Burial Heart, as you can see, and something very drastic happened in the last episode. Right. Machias got arrested for something he didn't even do and everybody knows it. I think it's more of a political play than anything else and we've got a plan. We're gonna rescue him himself and I have to say a new character we've met named Tofal gave us the idea of going into the waterway and going underneath the city where we know there are some great fishing spots. Trying to get over to the guardhouse and rescue him before he's carried over to the orc fortress where when he's get there we'll never be able to get him out. Is it a smart plan? Probably not, but I do want to attempt to rescue him and the waterway also goes beneath uh, Duke Elborea's uh, mansion. So who knows, maybe on the way there hmm. we can pick up uses as well. Because if we liberate Machias and we get caught with juices in our party, we'll have a better chance of surviving that. So I'm hoping we can combine the two. But before we do that, we did notice that everyone in the city had some different text. So I just want to walk around and see where everybody's uh, thoughts are at before heading down into the waterway. So let's start by going to the Noble District, Center, and of course the Lost Region as well. And maybe if we can also go to the Cafeteria and the Oryx Fortress just to see what's going on over there. Because who knows, maybe there is a little side quest or a booklet we can capture there. Hmm, I tried to ask the provincial army if they happen to know of Lady Annabelle's whereabouts. They chased me off rather fiercely, however. <sighs> it seems I'll have to ask around uh, our town in the hopes that someone knows. We know. Sadly, we cannot tell him. Hmm, it is entirely possible that you may not even be here in the first place. I cannot give up, though. I shall travel to the ends of the world to bring her back, should I have to. Well, in all honesty, Keldic uh, was a month ago, so she probably isn't there anymore. <laughs> Magia's Reckoning is currently under suspicion of committing a number of crimes. <laughs> You're wasting your time here. Hurry back to your field study. Allow me to give you a kind warning here. Leave now or you'll regret it. Duke of Rea is the law here in the Crusin province. You cannot go against his wishes. Uh, stop being so patronizing. We know what we're doing and we'll get what we want. So I'm going to slide check if there's no fishing spot. Because I don't remember if I checked there. Oh my. I wonder what all these soldiers are all flustered about. The same seems to be happening over at Duke of Rea's mansion too. I can't enjoy a nice nap like this. Oh my! Oh well, let's uh, check the mansion, I would say. Oh, there are two of them now instead of one. Lord Juices is rather busy now, so he won't have the time to return to the academy anytime soon. If that's all that you needed, you can take your leave. Well, if we are correct, and I think we are, and. Ragnitz is being held captive as a political hostage, then they won't release Eustace until everything is settled, so he probably won't get back to the academy in a long time. So getting him out of there is not only for Machias' benefit, but for Eustace's as well. You're those students, aren't you? Beat it. The last thing I need is your kids bothering me. Yep, even in Celtic and now here, I do not like the provincial army. I really don't. Hmm, Master Hancock and family are out at the moment. I should get to cleaning during their absence. Well, they should be at the cathedral for something. They were talking about it last time. A little check. Yeah, there really is nobody here. Making the noble quarter a little bit more quieter than normal without the kids around. 
Ah, there they are. Master Corti's stomach has finally settled down. Rumors of the dried steers and the aging properties seems to have been just a rumor after all. Yeah, it only gave him indigestion. <laughs> Master Corti's stomach has finally settled down. Hmm, Nora, could you please make some porridge? Ideally something gentle on the stomach. Understood. I'll wear something simple then. Well, I could use uh, some more porridge recipes. I wouldn't mind. Sadly, we cannot hear what's going on on the other side of the door. <laughs> I can imagine hearing him uh, screaming out in pain from uh, eating the dried steer. And it would be seriously funny and uh, well deserved. Hmm, the provincial armies questioned me about whether or not I had spotted a student with green hair. After that, they made their way to the station. Has something happened? Oh, the provincial army is all over the city today. Something happened, perhaps. Yep, they saw an opportunity and as brazen as they are, they went for it. Oh dear, I wonder what's going on. There has to be a reason for all those unruly soldiers wandering around the city. Oh dear. Oh, those provincial army soldiers are a fearsome group. They're crawling all over the city, so be careful. I got uh, so taken uh, in uh, to taking pictures that I bumped into one of those provincial army soldiers. I was so scared, I thought I was done for. Oh, it's so wonderful being able to relax like this. The schedule of a noble is always packed but with party symbols and dinner engagement to attend. <laughs> My son's persistence gave me the opportunity to relax and spend some time with him. Children always say what they feel and do what they want to. <laughs> That's why they're so wonderful. Yeah, because they are everything an adult would want to be. Rum, rum. Speed up, we're going right through the Twin Dragon Bridge. Uh, little Vino is really energetic, isn't he? Hmm, did you hear? There seems to have been a break-in at Oryx Ford. Wouldn't it be outrageous if it turned out to be someone associated with the reformists? This can serve as the perfect opportunity to launch a preemptive attack on them, however. Oh, how marvelous. Ducal Berea seems to be blessed with some good fortune. That's not what happened, but they are trying to make it sound like it is. If Duke Obrea used this situation well, he may even be able to take the top spot in the Noble Alliance. <laughs> oh, he seems to have been blessed by some good fortune. The Reformers seem to be strengthening their military too. <laughs> Taking such a crucial piece now will be definitely work to our side's benefit. I hope to make the best of it. Yeah, I don't mind them fighting over land and stuff, but do not involve my friends. Ah, oh, what ill-bred brutes. I was under the impression that the provincial army was formal and respectful, but ooh, was I wrong. Ah, oh, that little incident startled quite a few of our customers. Hammonds decided to offer free desserts to everyone as compensation. Please forgive us for the inconvenience. Uh, I want my dessert. I've been inconvenienced even more than the other guests. That little incident started quite a few customers. Oh, no one from Heimdall could ever imagine being intruded upon by the provincial army while enjoying a meal. It's such a shame, really. Their presence really spoils what is otherwise a beautiful city. Mm, I had some business to conduct with Burn uh, Fafnir today, but he's not here. I wonder if it's anything to do with all these soldiers hanging around town. Nothing seems to be going on as well as I would like these days. I guess that's just uh, the time we live in. I can't believe this. Those soldiers poured in while I was in the middle of working up the courage to finally propose to her. Ah, oh, great. The mood's ruined. Now I'll have to plan another perfect date. Uh, 
I really need to work on being more decisive. Oh well. We still got to enjoy a nice meal together, so there's that. We were treated so to some dessert to make up for what has happened there. <laughs> it's even more delicious than I expected. I was surprised when those soldiers came in earlier, but they didn't do anything after that. So it was a nice date overall. <laughs> it's even more delicious than I expected. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go upstairs first before talking to Hammond and the soldiers. Hmm, my daughter refuses to come home. Too busy with her club, she says. Part of me thinks she simply doesn't want to see me. Ah, uh, you're just actually worried about how she feels? Why don't you just ask her if that's the case? Hmm, the issue here is the fact that I cannot. I've tried to keep a firm grip on her life for quite a while, so I find it difficult to ask her now. Especially as I'm convinced that she's not all that fond of me. Hmm... Do we actually know who his daughter is? I wonder. Hmm, I wasn't aware that you were this uh, fond of your daughter. You're a man of the Empire though, so you can't be acting so indecisively. Hmm, there are people uh, who live their lives as fate decides, and those who do their best to rebel against that destiny. Should there be a future you wish for, then you must do everything you can to ensure they will come to pass. Which is uh, how we uh, live by most of the time. Trying to do our best to get what we want in an appropriate way. Very well. That concludes our investigation. Get in touch with us should you remember anything else. Hmm. <laughs> Try not to stick your nose in where they don't belong. Which they know we will. Hmm. <laughs> Phew. They're finally gone. Hmm. <laughs> Seems like they don't want us getting involved here. Hmm. <laughs> they claim to be investigating the break in at Orc Ford. However, it's obvious that their true intention was to coerce everyone into keeping out of their way. Our apologies for causing you any trouble. Oh, there's no need to apologize. I am somewhat worried about Lord Juicers now, however. Us too. There's no doubt that he's caught up in what's going on. Regardless, we feel responsible for inconveniencing our customers. Would you like me to make you something as compensation? We appreciate the thought, but we'll have to pass on that. We don't have the time to sit around. Let's hurry and go break out uh, Machias. Hmm. Let's head to the underground waterway. We will. We will. We could bring dessert with us. We don't have to eat it here. My apologies for what happened earlier. Please don't let it bother you though. Our restaurant is always open for you all. Thank you Hammond. They kept talking about carrying out some kind of investigation, but it's obvious that it was a cover. I'm betting they just wanted to cause trouble for everyone. This kind of thing happens from time to time in the city though, so don't worry about it. Although, this is the first time they've actually come over to threaten us. Don't worry about it though, we won't let something like this slow us down. Now well, it is still pretty shitty of the army. Hey, look, I'm an R bishop. Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> me too, me too. Oh, there are so many nobles who find themselves concerned by Lord Jusus's parentage. However, I personally believe that he's a most magnificent noble. It always irritates me to see people who don't know him judge him solely based on his lineage. Yeah, all the kids love Jusus. He's a good person. Lord Jusus is a most magnificent noble. You can see it through his attitude in public and how he acts at balls. It always irritates me that people judge him solely on his lineage. It is almost time for me to board the train home. I'm rather depressed that I have to leave this cathedral behind, but such is life. As much as I love to take some pictures, we're forbidden from doing so because this is a place for prayer. Uh, what a shame. 
Oh, we plan on giving out sweets to the less fortunate children of the Rayo Heart tomorrow. <laughs> I look forward to seeing their happy faces. I should start preparing right away. I do wonder where the nobles are. Because I know they went here. And the children aren't in front of that here. Hmm, I, I, I can't believe it. The sister is Lady Tatiana, who disappeared without a trace from high society. She comes from a prestigious family and was famed for her elegance. What on earth brought her here? I, I must say though, she truly is beautiful. Even more so than before. Oh no, these thoughts are so impure. Oh, Ayos, please forgive me. Well, you thought it all right. I'm not gonna judge you for that. Hmm, it's a noble's duty to offer their respect each and every day. When I'm here in Berea Heart, I couldn't possibly neglect to pray here at least once. Every time I come here, I always find myself learning new things from the Archbishop's sermons. My well, wife doesn't seem to agree, however. Mm, the Archbishop's sermons have a tendency to put me to sleep. <laughs> Maybe he has some kind of special power. The Archbishop's sermons have a tendency. Well, uh, there may be many things that we cannot do anything about, there's always something that each of us can be doing. Speaking of which, we'll be carrying out some charity work tomorrow. <laughs> I should help out with the preparations. Hmm, even in the most troubled of times, it's always important for us to keep moving forward. I see that you all are doing exactly that too. Proceed, youngsters. I'm sure that I just will lead the way for you as long as you remain faithful. No matter how grim the situation may look, you must always keep moving forward. Never lose faith in the goddess. As long as you have unwavering faith, she will surely show you the way. Thank you, Bishop. With that uh, unofficial support, I do appreciate it. Because it did technically say, uh, go forward and do what you want to do. Definitely. Right, Station Street. The reformist faction seems to be gaining support in Heimdall. Their goal seems to be eliminating the special privileges of the nobles and even the class system altogether. I wonder if they'll succeed. It's awfully hard to imagine though, that there may be a part I work at the nobles mansion. Without dumps around, I suppose I would have to find a new job too. As a noble of Erebonia, my love for this country and this city shall never be in question. It is for that exact reason that I find myself worried for our future. Especially with the blood and iron chancellor doing all he can to bring about extreme change. That man cannot be trusted. Chancellor Osborne cannot be trusted. He is nothing uh, but a former commoner who has become drunk of his own power. Well, even so, doesn't mean he's wrong. Look, look, there's water coming out of there. Grandpa said it's called a waterway. It's so pretty too. Whoa, time really flew by while we were tooling uh, around. Now seems like a good time to go find somewhere to have lunch. That, 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 that was a surprise. We came back from having lunch to find that there were soldiers everywhere. I wonder what happened. And they were really scary. Everyone seems on edge today. Did I miss something? Hmm, please, do try to be careful. Oh, Lord Jesus says I need to be careful of the soldiers. He said that I'll make this worry if I get in trouble with them. That's why I'm staying away from them. Uh, very good uh, choice, my boy. Very good indeed. Lord Joseph is very different from most nobles, I've noticed. He has a tendency to remain frank and open with us commoners for one. Just talk to him, I get the feeling that deep down he does not consider us inferior. I suppose his mother's background might have something to do with it. I believe that Lord Joseph does not consider us commoners to be inferior. Of course, I don't mean to imply that all other nobles do. However, his treatment of us feels somewhat different from Lord Rufus. 
Yeah, because Rufus is still an actual noble with a proper compassion for commoners. Eustace probably sees himself more as a commoner than a noble. I heard from one of our customers that the provincial army is hanging around town. Uh, while I might get nervous in presence of nobles, I'd rather much deal with them than the soldiers. I end up bombarding a noble customer who told me with uh, questions about them. I'm so worried about ac being accused of something by the soldier that I can't bring myself to take a step outside. Dealing with nobles is far, far less stressful than dealing with soldiers. Yeah, as he said, that she was really, really stressful when dealing with nobles. Can you imagine how she is around soldiers? Oh, seeing horse track uh, tech reminds me that the stable door is broken. I'll have to mention this to the master so he can call someone to fix it. We can get that sorted alongside the cleaning. Hmm, I'm almost reminded of things I need to do whenever I come to Christie's. Regardless, telling the master to call someone to fix the stable door is the biggest priority for now. Besides the cleaning. But I think that's basically uh, a thing a warehouse does. But a warehouse usually has so many different items and stuff that does tend to remind you of things that you might not think you need, which you end up still getting. Oh, welcome to uh, Henderson & Co. Can I interest you in some fresh vegetables straight from Celtic? My father's been in a bad way ever since the recent tax increase, so it's up to me to keep things going here. It's not unusual to have to deal with ridiculous demands from nobles. Father's been rather exhausted lately, so it's up to me to keep things going here. The tax increases are just one facet of Duke Elroy's harsh ruling over us. Perhaps it's simply because he lives in a completely different world from us commoners. <laughs> well, let's keep this little conversation between us though. What makes these tax increases worse is that we have to be told by noble clients not to raise our prices. Uh, it's unfortunate, but there's not much we can do about it. We just have to try and make the best of our situation. You do have to raise your prices, cause it's a part of your sales uh, price. It's the price of your goods, potential taxes, and the profits you want to make. That's what your product needs to be at. Hmm, perhaps it would be best to spend the money on both a new hunting gun and a horse tag. But then I would need to consult my wife first. Hmm. hmm. Perhaps it would be best to spend the money on both a new hunting gun. I've noticed over the years that the number of nobles who partake in hunting has been slowly decreasing. Much like how carriages are being replaced by all-wheel cars. Perhaps even nobles cannot stand against the changing of times. I could hardly begin to predict what the future holds for them. Neither can I. Hmm, we don't see many carriages in here in Barrier Heart these days. Perhaps even nobles can stand against the changing of times. According to old writings, Barrier Heart was already a fairly large and established city by the Middle Ages. The city's waterways seem to have been built both to provide a water supply and for aesthetic reasons. I can only assume that the ruling lord at the time ordered a wide scale work to be done on the city. Okay, so the water whales is not just a sewer, it's probably really fancy looking as well. Our ever so popular waterway seems to have built during the Middle Ages. I can only assume that one of Duke Elbray's ancestors was responsible for ordering that they be built. Have a quick look if there's anything new. No, it isn't. It's almost the same as with uh, the little boy Chris in Celtic that tried to sell magazines. If you don't update them, I do not buy them. Oh, is it true? Will Rufus truly be coming to our dinner party? Hmm, there's a slight possibility, yes. Hmm, surprises are an important part of high society gatherings after all. Well then, we should make our way back to prepare. Oh goodness, I just remembered that I have some business at the gallery. Time seems to fly by whenever I'm talking to Viola. Alright, the last person here. The airport. And then there's only one location I still want to go to. Oh, the largest airship currently is in use is the Lusitania. Made by Reinfeldt Company, it's a luxurious passenger ship that boasts an impressive length of 150 arch. 
We actually had the pressure of serving as one of its destinations during its maiden flight half a year ago. It truly was a sight to behold. Was that the ship where Trails the Third uh, started off to? I think it was, right? It was the place where uh, it all started. I th really think it is. Yeah. I do think they mentioned it was from the Rhineford Company. Alright. I will see you when we reach the fort. Just for a little tidbit with the cafeteria. Alright, we are here at the resting area, the Crescent Moon. Let's see if there's something interesting here. Oh, welcome! <laughs> it feels like we've had more customers than usual the past couple of days. Please, make yourself at home. I think that's the same text we had last time. Things have been pretty hectic around here thanks to that intruder yesterday. I heard that the culprit actually flew away afterwards too, but that can't be true, right? Sounds more like something you'd read in a fairy tale, to be honest. Hmm, my business talks dragged on longer than I expected, so it looks like I'll be staying the night now. Orders from the fort definitely seem to be increasing in number again, though. What a nuisance. I will need the truck to make my deliveries at this rate. Which, for a merchant, is not necessarily a bad thing. Cause uh, more money, more income, hmm? Alright, let's talk to the guards here as well, but I don't think much has changed here so far. We reported yesterday's intrusion to the Duke, but we haven't heard anything since. I was honestly expecting to get into quite a bit of trouble for it, but I guess we got lucky. Ah, oh, is Lord Juice not with you? Well, we spent all of our time here guarding the fort. We don't know much about what's going on with the Alberea family, I'm afraid. Alright, so... It is acknowledgement about the uh, changing of packs, but there isn't much difference here, so I'm glad we checked, <laughs> but there is not uh, much here. So I'm thinking, let's go back to the city and try to find our way uh, into the waterway. So let's see if I can uh, find those sewers. Okay, so where is the entrance? Is it on this side or is it in the center? No, I think it's here. Hmm, could this be the entrance to the underground waterway? Hmm, I can feel a breeze from the inside. Seems like it's pretty spacious. This must be the place then. Now we just uh, need a way to unlock it. Probably not a good idea to draw my sword in the middle of the city. May I have a try? A uh, hairpin? You're going to pick it? <laughs> I have no idea if it will actually work, but it's worth a shot, right? <laughs> ah, she's using magic to fool them. Wow. That was really impressive. <laughs> I remembered reading how to do it in a mystery novel once. I'm so glad it actually worked. Oh. Nice job, Emma. We should be able to get inside now. Let's get all our things in order and then head on in and pray no one sees us. Okay. Sounds good to me. Well, to be honest, I think we're already ready. <laughs> because this is a group of three, so I'm assuming that the enemy's inside is tailored uh, to that. And we've got enough healing items in our inventory to compensate just in case we get hurt a lot. <laughs> so let's uh, check out the insides. Ooh, mysterious. There's a really nice vibe to it. Hmm, this waterway is actually quite pretty. I was expecting the Verdant City to be beautiful, but it never dawned on me the same might be true of its underground. Hmm, there are tricky monsters here too though. We need to head west, to the part of the waterway that connects with the provincial army's guardhouse. Once we're there, we have to find a way inside so we can rescue Machias. Right. Understood. 
And that we shall. Alright, have a little rest as we're here and it's for free. And then let's go exploring. And even though he's focusing on rescuing Machias, if we have a chance to get inside Duke Elberea's house, I will not say no. Oh no, we need to regroup. That sucks. I thought I avoided it, but I got stuck on the stairs. Well, that always happens uh, the first few tries. That Here is not a lot of damage. Uh, I think. Retreat. Thank you, thirty percent is. Ah, oh, what the hell? Uh, come on, don't knock her out. Oh, Sorry, God, no, 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 Thank you. All right, not the best start of the waterway. <laughs> uh, this is this is the difference between normal and hard mode. If you do not get an advantage, is is gonna be hard because they do a lot of damage. So we need that advantage to at least uh, knock them down a pack if we can. All right, we take that warning into consideration. And now we're gonna do it right. Now's our chance. Let's get him. My turn. Alright, we're gonna do the same Here tactic we, we usually do when we get to All a new right, area. Let's do this. Yeah. Motivate to do a bit more damage. Since he died, we have to start over with the turn. CP, so we cannot go with the line attack turn. just yet. Here. Okay. Oh, that's already it. Here Advantages go. really go away fast when you have a smaller group. And that doesn't help either. Do we want a blessing? Hear me. Thanks. My Maybe. turn. My turn. Uh, critical sweep. Oh, come on! That should have been big enough. Here. Go. Wow, that is way too hard. Oh, come on! We're lucky. Yeah. You could have just as well. Uh... Here. My turn. Oh, that's way too little damage. Come on! Why is it has to be this hard right now? Mm, Eight hundred is not gonna do it, is it? Let's see... 1200, really? Even less? That's even... That's just a third of the damage we did before. Really? I have to ass break my way out of this? I am really missing my fourth member here. 
On the other hand, that's the power of the eight leaves. A little bit of grinding here would also be very nice indeed. Because no, after every fight I need to heal, and that's not very good. Especially considering there's a chance that we need to fight a boss at the end of this. I'm not saying there is, but there is a very good chance of that. No, I need more healing items. Be careful, check on the enemies where they are. Zeram powder, really good. Perfect. The kind of thing you'd expect in an old ruin like this. Do you think it's powered by the water flowing through here? I think you can almost uh, guarantee that, uh, Emma. Because the power of water is not to be underestimated. It's a great source of energy. All right. Uh, don't think sleeping will <laughs> regain our CP. So uh, let's continue on and see what we can find. Have a good look around. Ooh, a kitty cat. Don't uh, back ourselves up in the corner, not just yet. Advantage is ours. Triple it's advantage, big. come on, this should My be turn. enough. I don't have enough to motivate. It's my turn. Yeah. But technically, with triple advantage, we should all be able to attack three times. So if we my do turn. not miss, the enemy should be really close to being demolished. Yeah. Right, I think I'm gonna switch okay. over the link itch to theirs, because. There's a lot more damage there than you can do. But Emma is slightly disappointed. Okay. And we need to pick uh, yeah. the combinations that will help us go through here without dying, preferably. Gathering, we're gonna try to search for another switch, which opens up another gate to a new region. This is quite an open place. Very suspicious. I certainly didn't expect to encounter the three of you down here. <laughs> ah, the one person I love to see down here. What? Is that? Uses. Hell yeah. That's our boy. I'm so glad you're safe. Of course I am. Though I can't say I was expecting to be placed under house arrest the moment I returned to the mansion. So that's what happened. You know what's going on? Unfortunately, arresting the Imperial Governor's son under a false charge in order to keep the reformist faction under control. I find it hard to believe my father would attempt something so brazen. He didn't have any intention of talking to me. Not the slightest inclination. This was all planned from the start. <gasps> Use this. Enough about me. Thanks to my brother, I'm familiar with the general layout of this waterway. I'll lead us to the guardhouse. Let's get moving. You're actually... You were planning on saving him even if you had to do it alone, weren't you? He definitely was. Nothing like last month's field study. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't condone my father's actions. Besides, he's no doubt huddled up, crying and lonely in the corner of his cell right now. <laughs> I think more he's fuming in his cell right now. <laughs> it's worth rescuing him just to see that. <sighs> Alright, 
Let's get moving. Hey, whatever motivates him, I'll take it. And an extra buddy to hit enemies? Can't say no to that. Juicers can now use the Escroft Crystal Saber. Nice! That's even an extra benefit I didn't expect. The entrance to the guardhouse is to the west. We should hurry. Alright, so I'm guessing because of his comment that thanks to Rufus he knows his way around here. Is this the location where he was trained by Rufus when he was younger? Uh, let's see... An area else, so pretty big. Imprisons foes in a barrier and then eliminates them. Can't wait to see it, Jesus. I truly mean that. Uh, now that he is here. And those two already have a finishing blow, so there's no point in connecting those two. Mm. Yeah, let's put these two together. I think that should be fine. Alright, we have two locations. I do instantly feel more comfortable right now. Okay, this is probably a shortcut uh, to get back a little bit. Just having an extra character with us does help so much. Treasure. Now's a chance. Let's get them. Okay. Well, we know what it is. Uh, win, definitely. I'll handle this. Marcus, activate. Here we go. Uh, Earth, though, fire doesn't do diddly squats. Huh. Uh, attacking is it's not as turn. bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah. Oh well, live and learn. What a waste of time. Let's go. <laughs> a matter of course. La Crest in the chest. Nice, I'll take that. Let's see what more how far we can go here. Will this take us back outside? Cause we did see an exit from uh, above. Hell yeah. And the chest. Uh, Tira with extra stats. I really like that. Does mean the enemies down there are back again. Oh, we can just jump down, can we? <laughs> Alright, that's pretty good. So we have only one way further to go. And we need to get to find our way back to that other gate we just saw there in order to open it up. Because it could incidentally be a shortcut. And what's there? Hmm. Could this be their way into the Elbereas mansion? <sighs> Why is this ladder so long? Is it harder to climb ladders when you've got a big chest? B. Hey, it's a decent question. I wouldn't mind knowing that as well. <laughs> is it? <laughs> All right. Uh, this is a monster chest. We know that. Enemy sighted. Take them out. Oh, I Long don't turn. like those monsters. They're off. Let's do this! Leave it I'll handle this. Alright. But it is the perfect way to deal with most of them. Oh, 
I'll handle this. It's my turn. <laughs> now. Perfect. Ah, oh, come on. I know it's a bad smell. Come on, Yusus, you can take this. Okay. I'm not gonna use an S-Craft uh, to just do one enemy. My turn. Yeah, that should be enough. It's my turn. Here. Oh, we should be safe now. Great. And an invigorate with extra stats. Very nice. Alright, let's see how far do we actually still have in this screen? A little bit. But I think uh, opening up the chest and defeating its contents, I think is a pretty nice place uh, to keep this episode. And then we, we're gonna save that for next time. I might uh, find a few more down here in between the episodes just to get used to the enemies. And of course, recover our CP for both Reen and P. But I'll have to think about it. Next time, we're gonna finish off the waterways, rescuing Machias, and try to figure out what to do then. How do we get out of here? Entirely of Berea Heart is on the Duke Elberea's control. I have no idea how we're gonna resolve this, but one thing at a time. Rescue Machias. Right. Get out of here. And I'll be saying, <laughs> just make a run for it. Go to the train station, hop on a train to anywhere and try to contact the academy for help, for assistance. I think that's the best thing to do, but <laughs> we'll see what the, how the game handles it next time. Until then, I wish you all a great night, morning, day, wherever you are. And if you're still here, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe and be back next time. As we are definitely going to rescue Machias. See you then. Bye-bye.